Marking Electronic Exams Short Answer or Essay Exams submitted electronically in either PDF or Microsoft Word format can be marked in any number of ways without having to print the submissions. This video describes several techniques using a tablet, stylus, or a computer. I will describe these using Apple products, but PC versions of this equipment will allow you to do the same thing. At the end, I'll provide a few tips to make your scoring more efficient. Make sure you have the most up-to-date versions of your software before beginning. For me, the most efficient way to mark exams electronically is with an iPad and an Apple Pencil. I'll show how to do it without a pencil, but really, it's much easier with a stylus. Print your rubric so you have a hard copy. This reduces the number of documents you need to switch between on your device, saving you time and frustration. Create a spreadsheet specifically for your exam. You will enter a score for each question for every student on the spreadsheet immediately upon assigning a score. Your spreadsheet should look something like this. It is helpful to have an anonymous number assigned to each exam to prevent marking bias. If the exam was set up as an assignment in a learning management system such as Brightspace, the software will assign an anonymous exam number to the document when it is downloaded. Sort exams on your spreadsheet by ascending anonymous number to make entering marks most efficient. Save your spreadsheet and leave it open. Save copies, not originals, of all submitted exam documents to one folder in a secure location that is accessible to your iPad. I would advise not altering the original submissions. Open the first exam on your iPad. If it is a Microsoft Word document, open it in Word and select the Draw tab from the blue ribbon at the top. Select the red pen and the line width that you wish. Begin marking the exam as you would with any paper exam. If you make a mistake, click on the eraser or double tap the Apple Pencil 2 to change the eraser to correct your annotations. If you don't have an Apple Pencil, you can use your finger to do the annotations. Just click on the Draw with Touch button in the drawing menu. It's just not as natural as using the pencil. You can actually use the Draw tools using the trackpad on your laptop, but again, it's not as easy. Just turn on the Draw with Trackpad option in the ribbon and then annotate. Similarly, PDF documents can be annotated on either an iPad or a computer. The location and selection of tools will just be slightly different depending on the applications. Some instructors prefer marking PDFs because you can't accidentally change the text. An alternate technique for scoring electronic exams in Word is to use Track Changes tools to enter comments and scores for each question. It can be turned on through the Tools menu or the Review tab in the ribbon. Select the part of the answer that you want to correct and insert appropriate comments. Then. Place a score for the answer at the beginning of those comments. Placing the score at the beginning helps you locate the score for entering into your spreadsheet and later for reviewing the exam. Now let's look at some tips that you can use for scoring, whether you use drawing tools or track changes. Don't mark one student's exam in its entirety before moving to the next exam. Mark no more than four to five of the same questions for each exam so as to optimize your consistency in scoring. That's why the spreadsheet with each question score is important. It lets you record quickly as you proceed. Switching between exams and a spreadsheet can be really time consuming. Expedite switching by using split screen on either your tablet or your computer. If you have a tablet and a computer, you can keep the spreadsheet open on the computer and the exam on the iPad. The less switching you need to do, the less fatigue you will experience. Large external monitors also help. Alternatively, Learn the quick ways to switch between full screen apps. On both the iPad and the Mac, Command Tab will let you switch quickly between apps. On an iPad, a four finger swipe to the right will quickly switch you between apps. One last tip that I'll share is to enlist others in your course or your discipline to help score your exams. Hold an online calibration session through Microsoft Teams or other secure video conferencing system to review the rubric before scoring. While marking, discuss possible alternate correct or incorrect responses using video, chat, or post functions. Downloaded exams, the rubric, and scoring spreadsheet can be placed in Teams, SharePoint, or other secure platforms to allow markers to enter grades at their own pace. Marking with others reduces boredom, stress, and fatigue and it helps improve calibration and a sense of team. It lightens everyone's burden. There are many ways to score electronic exams outside of a learning management system. 
The techniques I have outlined are not the only way or necessarily the best way to do this, but I hope those methods that I have outlined give you some ideas to make your own marking more efficient and enjoyable.